Do you want to know how to hack a four-year degree in two years and save yourself tens of thousands of dollars? Well, I did it. Let me go grab a drink and we'll have a chat about it. Hey everybody, what's good, what's going on? JB here with another Cyber Insight video. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for making it your new spot for cyber and network knowledge. I'm really excited about today's topic because it's something that I try to share with people as much as I can. And that is a few very specific hacks that you can use to both save yourself years and tens of thousands of dollars when you're trying to go after your undergraduate degree. So we're gonna hop right into that. But as always, before we do that, make sure if you do like the video, you hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any new content. And let's get into it. So a little bit of a backstory here. I did my undergraduate degree in computer information technology, and I did that degree in two and a half years. Now, that is not normal. A lot of people uh, are kind of surprised to hear that. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I was able to take a full load of classes, and then also earn additional credits throughout that time. So I was able to compress the normal time period of four years down to almost two years. So the main hack, the main secret to all of this, and I am shocked whenever I have conversations because a lot of people have never heard of it before, and that is CLEP tests. So CLEPs are standardized tests, and anyone can go and take these, they cover a wide variety of different types of classes, mostly classes that are your, your core level requirements. This is information that if you were an A or B student in high school, chances are you probably already know and can pass tests covering these topics. So they offer 34 different tests covering everything from English composition to mathematics, various types of sciences, social studies, history, language arts, Pretty much all of the basic 100 and 200 level classes that you can think of that you would normally go towards your core requirements, there's pretty much a CLEP test for that. The tests generally cover about 100 questions or so, take anywhere between an hour to hour and a half. The passing score is normally somewhere around 50 or so, and that's on a scale of uh, 20 to 80. Each of the tests is normally somewhere between three to six credits. And the amount of credits that each college will accept differs between institutions. So I'm going to put up some graphics of different universities, ones that you know that take CLEP tests. And honestly, all you have to do is go on Google to see which universities do accept CLEP tests. The majority of them do. The one thing that you need to be careful of and you want to ensure is the amount of CLEP credits that they will accept. You don't want to go and start taking a whole bunch of CLEP tests, and then find out that they're only going to accept three or four of them. So this seems great, right? So what do you have to do to go and take these? Well, there's a few different things. First off, most libraries have study guides for these tests already. So you don't even need to buy anything if it, you do want to study for it. They do give you a list of various types of other study material uh, if you do want to go a little bit deeper. But like I said, if you were an honor roll student in high school, Chances are you can roll in and take one of these classes and you'll more than likely pass it. You can take the tests at various testing centers. A lot of uh, universities have the CLEP testing centers there. The best part and what helped me out a lot when I was going through my degree program is that if you are in the military, active duty, reserves, or guard, you can take these tests for free. All you have to do is go to your education center. I went there so often, I became like best friends with the lady that was doing the testing in the center. I would go every single week and take a new test. For a lot of the tests, I would just show up, take the test, and wasn't even doing any studying. Now, like I said, you can go to the library and you can get the books to study there. They also have a CLEP test book, which goes over different types of example exams. You can order that from the CLEP website, and I'll put a link down below for only $25 and it covers all 34 of the tests. So it's 
really, really advantageous to go and seek out some information on this and see where you can take these tests. So for myself, I ended up getting about 60 different credits from CLEPS that applied to my undergraduate degree when I was going through UMUC. I'll put up a few screenshots over here of the grade or, or credit reports showing you the different classes that I took and how much credits I got for each of them. All right, so like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I went downstairs. Today, I'm drinking a little Ron Abuelo rum from Panama. If you happen to go get a drink, could be anything, juice, milk, don't drink soda, soda's bad. Sparkling water is okay though. Any type of alcohol, I think it's time. We go cheers. So there's a few other types of tests that are very similar to the CLEPS that work in the same way. And those are the Dante's exams. Uh, sometimes they're referred to as DSST or the Excelsior University exams. Now the Dante's exams, I believe are only available to uh, military members, but it's the same premise. You can go, you take the standardized test, you get college credits for it. And pretty much any place that accepts the CLEPS is gonna accept the, uh, the DSSTs. Uh, Excelsior, on the other hand, is open to anybody. You can go and take those exams, I believe at Pearson View, if you want to. Uh, so that makes it really easy as well. When it comes to prices for these, as I mentioned before, my military family, you all have a very, very good situation here and you really should go and take advantage of it because it is free for you, as long as you pass the first test. If you fail, and this is applicable to everybody, not just uh, military members, if you fail, you can't take the test again for three months. Uh, and for military folks, you don't get your retakes for free. You do have to pay uh, what everyone else does for when they go to take the test originally, and that is $89. So hold up and think about that for a second. I believe the average cost for a three credit class in the United States Last time I look, when you're averaging them across private universities and public universities and two-year schools and four-year schools, I think it's something like $1,500 per class, right? It's nuts. So you want to spend $1,500 when you can go and take the test for $89, cash those credits and move on to the classes that actually matter to you the most. And that's exactly what I did. So for pretty much my whole degree path, I was taking the classes that were aligned with my major. So I wasn't worried about having to take the base level classes. I was able to focus on networking and computer science and cybersecurity, things that were interesting to me and mattered to me. And in accelerating that path, it also meant that I was able to get my degree right in time that lined up with me getting out of the Air Force and getting my first job out in the civilian world. So let's do some other really quick math here. If the average college degree is, let's say $70,000, and I think that's on the low end, I think that's taking into in-state tuition, public universities, not necessarily private universities and out-of-state tuition, right? Uh, because with that, it's probably well over 150,000. But let's just say $70,000, right? If you're able to take a quarter of those classes, so 30 credits, how much is that going to save you off of that? Well, let's just do some quick math. That's probably about $18,000 that that would save you if you were to get a quarter of your credits from CLEPS, Dante's, and Excelsior tests. If you go more than that, how much money and time savings is that going to be for you? I even know folks who used this process for almost their entire degree. Shout out to Marcus Carey on Twitter being one of those people. Uh, I mean, he talks about it uh, whenever he's mentoring folks. And I think there's probably even some talks online where he brings up the fact that he pretty much hacked his degree. It's amazing to me that more students aren't aware that these tests exist, that they're really inexpensive, the locations where you can take them. All it takes is a little bit of research and you could end up saving yourself quite a bit of time and effort so basically, it allows you to accelerate your degree path, get your foot in the door in the industry sooner than you were expecting, put you on the right trajectory for your career path, and also you're doing this all while having less student loan debt than you were expecting to do from the beginning. And I will say cheers to that. 
So I'm gonna put a bunch of resources down below for all of you to dig through. Please, if you have any questions about this, I am more than happy to share my experience with what I went through when I was in the military, doing these standardized tests, accelerating my degree plan, getting out without having any college debt at all. These are things that are all really beneficial about using these CLEPS and other standardized testing. Reach out, hit me up if you have any questions on that. Um, as always, any other comments, questions, concerns, ideas for other topics that you want me to cover. Um, I think I'm gonna start mixing in some more of these uh, non-technical talks, maybe do a little bit about my, uh, my career transitioning from the military into civilian and then eventually starting my own company. Uh, we could talk about uh, things dealing with interview tips and tricks and resumes and you know other things besides just the technical stuff so that we're kind of getting you all ready to either take the first step into IT or cybersecurity or maybe you're already in it and you just need to brush up on a few things. So I look forward to putting that content together and sharing it with you. As always, hit the like, subscribe and notification bell. Cheers. Take care of each other, your friends, your family, your community. We're all in this together. I'll talk to you soon.